just see the beauty of Krishna's pastimes. How he accepts such a apparently vulnerable human form. In this world, Krishna, mayadyakshena prakriti suyate sa characharam. He tells in Gita, he's the, he's the power behind material energy. This is his shakti. He's the shakti man. Everyone is bound by the ropes of the gunas. Sattva guna, raja guna, tama guna. Goodness, passion, ignorance. They're compared to ropes. In fact, sometimes guna is translated as rope. How people are totally bound up. Human beings, all 8,400,000 species of life throughout the universe. Whether we're vegetables <laughs> or trees, whether little bacterias or ants or snakes or fish, or all forms of animals and every type of human being and demigod. Everyone is tightly bound by these ropes, these gunas of goodness, passion, and ignorance. In Kali Yuga, especially people are bound up by ignorance and passion. And we see how even when we become devotees, we're trying to overcome them. Still, they keep pulling upon us. So bound up. So Krishna's binding the whole creation with the ropes of nature. And hardly anyone could get out. Manushyanam sahasrishu kashtid yadati But yet Krishna himself, the source of everything. He's bound up by the ropes of the love of Yashoda. And he couldn't get out. He was so bound by the ropes of his motherly love. He pulled the grinding mortar, he knocked down the trees, but he was still bound. It was, it was really a very dramatic way of getting Nanda Maharaj's attention. And finally, when he came, he untied the rope and freed Krishna. This is Vrindavan. Vrindavan is the land where Krishna is subordinate to the love of his devotees. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.